The goal of it is to get a candle maker next to a polymer clay earring maker next to Foot Locker, right? Like, why not? Because if you put those people next to each other, there's collaboration that will happen out of that. Collaboration, creativity, community. A summer long event brings people together as a way to support local vendors, makers, and artists, all while creating a more vibrant city. After Dark is a pop up street party that raises money to support West Michigan artists. But it's so much more than that. It's a place to gather, eat, drink, shop, and explore. And it all starts this weekend. It's just a celebration for people to get out into the community and to come see what we're doing to help promote local arts. This empty lot turns into a season of celebration this week as Lions and Rabbits opens its first after dark on Saturday. We have these street parties there. They have about anywhere from like 40 to 100 vendors at them. And then we do live entertainment from like anywhere from like fire blowing to street performers to musicians, all those kinds of things. Add in a little food and drink, and this is certainly a party. They're really fun. They're family friendly. Come. If you have a family, if you don't have a family, if you're a grandma, there's places for you to sleep, be seated at there. It's really genuinely for everybody to come to. But the reason behind these events is to raise money to support local artists. The goal this year, $100,000. That money goes back to public artists. It goes back to the project management of these projects. The goal is for them to be able to get to a point where they, are, they feel creative freedom. They can do it here, they can do it in their home city, they can do it somewhere else, and then they can help other artists learn how to do it. It is just about the easiest way to help those who are making our community more beautiful every day. All of the money that's spent through vendor rentals and drink purchases is matched dollar for dollar by the Michigan Economic Development Corporation. I think that a lot of times people don't know how they can support the arts, and even at these, it's a five dollar drink that is, becomes a ten dollar drink, so or a ten dollar paintbrush. So it's really, really about recycling community dollars into community activation. And as the summer progresses, you will see this lot transform, and everyone who attends can have a hand in it, almost like a paint by number. The goal of it is for us to paint that entire lot and kind of re really redo like a makeover of the lot. It's part of the river restoration site. Because in the end, it's all about community, moving forward while giving back. Obviously, everyone likes to see people smile, but everybody loves to see a little kid painting. It's really great for us to be able to watch all different walks of life come and be in one spot. So After Dark starts this weekend. It happens the second Saturday of the month all summer long um, from 3 to 10 at 555 Monroe. So that parking lot right there on the riverfront. And Great. we're so excited. We have one of the artists here with us I today. Yes, Mr. Craig Merchant. Thank you for being here. Yeah, thank you. Good morning. So, you know, you're excited about kind of what you're you're making. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, so I'm doing a installation at Briggs Park. And it's basically several wooden sculptures, about 13 of them, but they Besides art, they also serve two functions. So there's a butterfly garden in the center, mm -hmm. and there's spots for the butterflies to build the chrysalis in there. And then the other posts are for hammocks, so the community can come and hang out literally in the park. Oh my gosh, yeah. I love that. I know, right? Functional, yes. beautiful, just adding, um, you know, to what the park will be. Mm -hmm. um, and you are a West Michigan native. You've been in Art Prize a bunch of times. You are a pretty established artist. But tell us about your partnership with Lions and Rabbits and how it works for you. Yeah, Lions and Rabbits is really great. They do a lot for artists. And um, I basically saw a lot of my artist friends working with Lions and Rabbits. So I looked into what they were doing. And I started partnering with them. I did a mural with them. And then I saw this opportunity. So I, I you know, submitted my idea. And they just really support me and give me the resources to be able to create the art. If folks come out to this after dark market, you know, are they really hands on supporting local artists like yourself with their Absolutely. purchases there and all yeah. of that? Basically what I'm doing right now would not be possible without that. So it really helps artists to have that opportunity to make the art that they want to make. Mm. And, and as you've lived here years and years and, and you drive around the community, what do you see, what kind of impact do you see Lions and Rabbits having on, on Grand Rapids in general? Yeah, it's amazing. Just bringing art into areas that didn't have art before, it just enhances the beauty of the community. And I think it inspires people. When I see it, I'm inspired, I always stop and look at the murals and it inspires me, gives me ideas. But I think it just, it just brings more to the culture of our community. Can Wonderful. folks come out? I know the, the After Dark Market, it's kind of a hands-on type of thing. Can folks come out and help you with your installation at all? Or? I am going to have opportunities for them to help. So 
I just did the heavy work. I just started insula <laughs> installation, and that was like the heavy duty work that was a lot of sweat. But um, now I'm kind of moving into areas where the community can come and help. So I will have opportunities for them to come help and paint and just oh, do some great. of that stuff. So. Okay, wonderful. Well, that's, and you said it should be done by June. So yeah. just awesome. in time for it to enjoy all summer long yeah, for absolutely. us to go out and lay in those hammocks. Yeah, for <laughs> sure. Fun. <laughs> Calling my name. Well, thank you so much for being here. We really appreciate thank it you. and all right. you're doing to help beautify our city. Thank you. All right.